I feel pretty good. I really am. Wow, I look spooky. Yeah. I'll have a soup party. Living it up. Finally. Ready for a nose reveal. Let's go. Hi friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel. I promise I'm smiling right now. It just probably, you can't tell at all. But I'm excited for this vlog because tomorrow is finally my post-op appointment, which will be five days after the surgery. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they take off the cast and remove the stents. So I'm hoping we get a little bit of a nose reveal in this video, see how it looks. Although I'm fully expecting it to just be so swollen. You don't really see the um, after for like a year. I'm feeling a lot better today. I'm feeling a lot more mobile, which I'm so thankful for, I'm able to like stand up, move around on my own. So hoping maybe we could like cook some dinner or something together and look, Look at these beautiful flowers from my mom. Aren't those so pretty? Um, I, honestly, have only been laying down and doing computer work today and it's already 1 p.m. So, haven't really done much, haven't really moved much. <laughs> Last night I did a couple things that really helped me feel better. I took a bath, which was so nice. Jordy helped me set it all up. He like lit candles and everything and I just made sure not to get my rib incision in the water and I kind of like sponge bath, but then was able to sit and bubble bath, which felt so good. Um, slicked my hair back a little bit more because it's still so dirty, but I'm like, I'm just gonna rock the super slick back look. That has helped. And then came and sat out here during sunset last night with Jordy and Max, and that just felt really good to get some fresh air because I literally did not step outside even onto my patio for over two days. So all those things I think have really helped me on the up and up, and I'm thankful for that. Oh, and there is something else as well. It's been pretty like unpredictable as to what my stomach feels like eating. Some days I'm totally fine, but like yesterday, all I really wanted was toast and butter, which obviously has like no nutrients in it at all. So I'm really so thankful to be working with AG1 on this video. This is something that I've had in my arsenal for quite a while. I especially love it when I travel just because when you're traveling, when you're out and about, it's hard to get in all the nutrients that you need. This is a powder that has over 75 different whole food source ingredients in it. It has vitamins, minerals, superfoods, adaptogens. It's just so jam packed. And this little tiny scoop gets so many good healthy things into my body, especially if I am only craving toast or yesterday I had toast and mac and cheese. So I'm really mostly focusing on like doing anything I can to help with my gut. And this has a lot of good digestive enzymes inside of it, which just helps you to digest food and absorb nutrients. And it's so easy, you just throw a little scoop in water like this, and I have to remove my mustache to drink. I am so sorry. But the flavor is mild, that even if I'm like feeling iffy, I still enjoy it. I do actually have a new link for y'all if you're curious in trying out AG1. It's drinkag1.com slash That's gonna get you a couple things. It's gonna get you five of these little travel packs. This is what, like this is, I swear by this when I travel. Having these in your backpack or your bag when you're out and about eating all the fun foods really helps me feel better, helps my digestion, helps me have more energy, so that's been so helpful. And you'll also get a free one of these, which is a vitamin D3 and K2. This is just a little dropper and it is literally a whole year supply. And this is something that my doctors have told me like, good job taking that, please continue to take that every single day. And so I have really loved having all of this help me feel better. So thank you AG1 for partnering with me on today's video. And let's see what the day has in store. Tomorrow really is the exciting day, but I have energy today. So I feel like we could do, we could maybe cook tonight. How's that sound? AG1 plus toast, mm. the breakfast of champions. That's right. I forgot that I had got this at the farmer's market and Jordy found it yesterday and it's so good. It's mm -hmm. so good. And I've been craving salt, so I had this and this yesterday, but I'm gonna put a little bit of flaky salt on it today. Let's see how it goes. Did I show y'all? I don't remember. I don't remember what I showed in the last vlog. I was like way more out of it, but did I show y'all the dinosaur Jordy got me? I'm wondering if these are those um um mar marshmallow mar mellow jelly puff jelly puff. 
what are they called? But anyways, it's been so sweet. A little memento of the journey. We are still watching SWAT as our current show because I'm a big fan of Shamar Moore. And we're going to transition. We've, we've done good work today. It's technically a holiday. It's Memorial Day, but leisure computer work. We're going to transition into some TV time before maybe making soup tonight for dinner. And maybe Jacqueline and Mark might come over depending on their day they're like floating the river which is a very memorial day thing to do in texas so i'm hoping they could come over i know jacqueline loves opa soup and that's the soup i want to make and so we can feed them all i'll have a soup party if you haven't seen me make opa soup before it's so easy i've done my own spin on it and i kind of just worked with mostly ingredients that i have at home so it's all kind of different but i use sausage Opa's OG way is sausage and chicken, but I it keeps longer with just sausage than poultry, so I just do sausage, garlic, onion, some broths. I just have a conglomeration of beef and vegetable today. Um, butter beans, tomatoes. This is farmer's market spinach that I put in the freezer. I'm assuming it's still okay, but I make dumplings out of this biscuit mix from Red Lobster. It's gluten-free, and I make tiny little dumplings and it's so good. I top it with Parmesan. I was telling Jordi, I was like, I think I like it because it's basically eating biscuits and gravy. You have the sausage, you have the biscuit mix, but in soup form, you sneak in some vegetables in there and all the sorts of things. And it's just like the most comforting, easy meal ever. And I'm ready for soup. final product we got dumplings sausage honestly butter beans are so underrated i love butter beans and we got one for the musical entertainment of the night thank you for your services you dog walker and home nurse slash musical entertainment that was very tasty here is somebody with no nose <laughs> for someone, what for somebody with no nose then you did yeah really i have job. no idea how it tastes i tried a little Wow, might need salt beautiful. or something. Also, actually, I was just telling Jordi I took this off to taste the thing underneath, and my smile was getting kind of gummy. Like I showed a lot of my gums when I smiled, and I'm sure it's gonna go back. But like now, even if I, even if I try, wow, I look spooky. Okay. Thanks, baby. Let's eat. You wanna eat on the porch and watch the sunset? Yeah. Let's do that. morning it's appointment day here's my fit to leave the house for the first time in five days <laughs> I have so much stuff in my hair I was like if my hair is not gonna be washed for so many days anyways I'm gonna put like hair masks whatever so we're doing super slick ballerina bud and I did 12 hours no pain meds so I woke up knowing like the full scope of my pain and um, let's just say it's way worse <laughs> than last time hey any updates from sweet nurse boy we're gonna go to the doctor and see what the doctor says yeah and i'm really hoping i get cleared to wash my hair that'd wouldn't nice. that be such a luxury that'd be that'd be crazy it'd be such a luxury i literally haven't stepped foot outside my apartment front door in five days because you've been doing all the max work which is so sweet it's a whole new world out there. Mm -hmm. Max is in my little pillow fort. Hi, Bubby. Do you like that pillow in here? Is that you already got eye boogers already? We gotta get those off when I get back. Feels so weird to be out of the house. We made it. We made it. I'm like a little bit nervous for the. I, I I'm sure whatever they gotta do today is gonna be painful, but also the the pain meds have officially kicked in. And I'm a little loopy, so I'm glad I don't have like nerves nerves i'm just kind of like yeah this probably isn't gonna be fun today mm -hmm. but i took off my little mustache i don't think i'll need it for a little bit it's mostly catching i don't even think it's catching blood anymore i think my nose is just drippy yeah so it's like a dripping bloody snot yeah it's mostly snot but it's picking up a little bit of blood but you gonna be my cameraman mm -hmm. okay let's go see what happens one last look at this cast <laughs> okay they just told me that they're not going to remove the stint yet, but they will remove the cast, so. That makes sense. Well, it's so. But we'll see. We'll be able to see it. 
I don't think you'll, I think the stint is like really holding my nostrils yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I'm pretty sad. Pretty sad. Yeah, they're not going to do anything till Friday. Yeah. That's Tuesday. Tuesday. The good news is it's still going to be part of this vlog because I gave myself a whole week to film this vlog because I just didn't really know what to expect. So this vlog is still going to be the like cast removal. Mm -hmm. But I just have to live another few days with this on my face and with the stints in my nose. And I feel like the tape is just like a lot more inconspicuous. Mm -hmm. So like taking Max out and stuff, I won't give as many people a jump scare. Whereas this is like pretty obvious. Yeah. You you get you got sliced up, yeah. and you're in a lot of pain. So I'm glad that they're not. I was I was a, I, it kind of gave me pause that they were gonna take it off so early. Really? So, yeah. I don't remember how long I wore the cast last time I did this. It was maybe a week. And I guess we're, what, five days post-op right now? Yeah. So Friday will be a week. Yeah, that's not oh, wait. super long. We're only four days. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. But they said I can wash my hair in the sink. You know, I have such a slicked bun that maybe I'll do yeah. that tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe one more day with all this in there. Um, but that'll be nice. Well, I guess we'll just have another chill day at home. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Hello from the porch. Me and Max are doing some work and getting some fresh air out here, but a couple updates. First, officially half my dosage on my pain medication and I feel great. Like the pain is gone. And so I'm really excited to start weaning off of it because I hate not feeling sharp mentally and not feeling like I can like put my thoughts into words well. It just literally my whole job is putting my thoughts into words. So to feel like I'm not doing that well is hard. So I'm really excited to wean off of that. Other updates are we're officially on episode 20 of SWAT. They're like 45 minutes long. That is so many minutes of SWAT, but it's been very good. And Jordy leaves tomorrow. I'm really sad about it, but I have confirmed Mama Jancy's coming into town, vlogging the rest of the week. So hopefully we'll get some good mother-daughter bonding time. Glad for that. And she'll take me to my appointment on Friday because if I'm still on any amount of pain medication, I'm not allowed to drive. That'll be very helpful. And also to have someone in the room just to help me document the whole process and the reveal, I think will be really great. Not much has changed besides that. I just put these earrings in to try to save these holes and I haven't put anything in the main hole yet because that one I'm not worried about closing but I kind of like these two together I might put in like a larger hoop or something as the third and might you all know I'm so lazy with my jewelry I put something in and I leave it for like a month sometimes longer so you know maybe out of necessity might turn into a cute new little stack be nice to feel cute maybe I'll put the thirds in soon I've been wanting to try this spot in Austin it's called 1010 and they can make a lot of things gluten-free. And so you just can't order it gluten-free on Postmates, which is kind of annoying. So Jordy went to go pick it up, which is so kind, and confirmed they're all, like, safely modified, like, celiac level. They label it as allergy. So whenever I see that, I'm like, okay, I can enjoy this. And I'm excited to try a new sushi place because I feel like Austin, that's the thing we're lacking, is, like, good middle-of-the-road sushi. We have, like, really fancy spots, like Uchi, Uchiko, Sushi Bar, that it's, like, if you go, you're spending hundreds of dollars. And we don't have anything good that's, like, date night, don't want to spend hundreds of dollars. But I'm on the search, especially for, like, allergy-friendly things. And I feel like, Jordy said it's really cute in there, and I feel like these rolls look delicious. Honestly, not gonna lie, I first thought that this was hot Cheeto dust, but that's just super brightly colored, um, like, fish roe of some sort. That looks so delicious. And we're gonna watch sunset and enjoy the date. Sorry, bud. You're gonna have to go up that seat in a second. <laughs> It feels so good to be clean. I can't smell anything, so I have no idea how much I smell. Actually, update on the sushi. <laughs> I couldn't taste anything. I even took a spoonful of wasabi. Could not taste it. Jordy said it's very good. I'm excited to go back when I could taste it, but all I have to say, I can't smell when I'm clean, but I can feel when I'm clean. <laughs> and I have not washed my face in the slightest in six days, but they told me I could use a washcloth and just like lightly wash around this part. So for the first time in six days, I've washed my face and I haven't even applied any sort of lotion or anything to my skin in that long. Oh, that feels so great. And I also didn't tell y'all, last night, Jordy made us brownies and Jacqueline and Mark came over to play little cards. I got one little clip, which was so nice to have them here and just, you know, do something chill in my pajamas in my own home. So he's heating up the leftover brownies 
and ice cream. For us to finish our last little late night TV watching party. He's like, you know normal people binge TV and we just never do. And so now we're like, we've made up for a whole year, which really is what it is. Um, there's nothing I have to be up for early tomorrow and he leaves tomorrow. So I think we're just gonna have a late night brownie eating TV watching party. But this time with me clean. Oh, I'm so happy. Never underestimate the power of bath. <laughs> Is it day three of this vlog? I think so. Good morning. Hi. Um, I had a lazy morning. Jordy is rebuilding, he calls it my throne back there for us to do a little more laziness, but just did some computer work this morning and ate some toast. And we have a sweet friend that's sending us smoothies that should be here any second. And it's crazy, it's from Sun Life. The original Sun Life is in Malibu and I used to lead a Bible study there. And now there's one right here in Austin. So that's pretty cool. And mom gets here tonight, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing her. But I'm really sad for Dory to go. Yeah. Are you sad to go? I'm sad to go. Well, I don't Definitely. know. You've just been doing free labor the whole time. Well, I'm sad here. to leave you. Yeah. Oh, because you were coming with me. That's I know. what I yeah, yeah. He's leaving to um, play a music festival. And mm -hmm. here, I'll, I'll get your face in this because it's so handsome. He's leaving to play a music festival in Nashville and also wrap up the first single from his new album, uh -huh. which is sweet because it's a love song. Yeah, it's about her. It's really cute and I really like it. I'm excited for it to go live. And yesterday we filmed some little voice memos mm -hmm. that may or may not make the cut, but there's this one line of the song that's like, sorry, but I like when we get on each other's nerves. And yesterday I was making fun of him for how loud he chews chips. I do chew chips real loud. Yeah. Crunch, crunch. Yeah, like... <laughs> so we got a voice memo of him chewing chips and me being like, Babe, you chew so loud. I song. might make it in the song. It might not. But stay tuned to find out. We're going to watch maybe one more episode of our SWAT show. <laughs> before we probably never have an opportunity like this ever again for the rest of our lives. Unless we like both get the stomach flu sometime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Living it up. So we have the next nurse, which is so sweet for her to come out and take care of me, but I'm really excited to try to wash my hair. And here's the setup we've made. Okay, wedge pillow over the sink, lay my body along this blanket, and this comes out to wash. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Welcome to my spa. <laughs> I'm so excited. The good news is, is I can't smell how bad I smell. Oh, true. Well, which has been great. You actually don't smell bad. Also can't taste very much. And since it was Jordy's last night here last night, we got like really nice sushi and I couldn't taste it at all. And I was like, how much can I not taste? So I took a spoonful of wasabi, couldn't taste it. Oh no. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. I'm a new woman with clean hair. It's funny how like piece by piece I've been washing like sponge bath, now hair separately. Piece by piece I'm getting fully clean. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Wrap my hair in this towel for it to dry. Yeah, cute. There's like wads of my hair everywhere because <laughs> I hadn't taken it out of this for so long. <laughs> One of my sweet friends, Anna Claire, delivered soup. And look who else got off work. Me. Surprise, we're having a soup party. Jacqueline yeah. chose the Mikkel Jancy original bowl. Cause it's I did. smaller. <laughs> and your own original soup. And soup. <laughs> hello, good morning. Not morning, it's 1.30 for me. But hello, it is Thursday. And guess what I'm about to do for the first time? Put on a smidge of makeup and go out of the house for a not doctor's appointment. I've washed my face a couple times, so I feel confident, you know, getting this makeup off. I think I'm just gonna do like a little bit of brow and a little bit of mascara, maybe some clear gloss. I feel good enough today to go to my pottery studio for a couple of hours. And if y'all don't know, I have a monthly membership. So 
it's not like I just pay when I go. I'm paying for the month. And so I don't like missing very much because then why am I paying, you know? And I missed last week. The only issue is I still shouldn't be driving myself because I'm still not fully off of all the medication that can cause dizziness. Um, even the nerve blockers, you're not supposed to drive on them. And that's not even like the, like a narcotic, I don't think. But I'm just being extra safe. So my sweet mom, she has things she wants to get out and do anyways. And so she said she's going to drop me off at the pottery studio for a couple hours, go do all her things, and then pick me back up. And I think it's going to be great to get out of the house. Um, I There's usually only a couple girls in there when I go because different types of memberships go at different times. And my times, I, I pretty much know who could be there. And I warned them. I was like, by the way, I'm getting a surgery done. And so I might come in here one week looking pretty scary. Don't be alarmed. So, you know, I don't feel like anybody's going to be too terrified of me, which is really great. And can't wait to get out of the house. I put on a little bit of vitamin C this morning. And I feel like it is giving me a little bit of mustache. Huh. for my ride to come pick me up. I called it quits a little early and I decided not to throw because even just standing and glazing, I was starting to feel really lightheaded. <laughs> so I was like, I don't think I can commit to cleaning a whole wheel. But the studio manager was there and she was like, how about you sit and you try hand building? And I was like, I've never hand built anything in my life. She's like, this not that hard. Just make a center and pinch and pinch and pinch. So I tried to hand build two different little bowls um, but I just like the way that throwing makes everything look so perfect. So I don't know. We'll see if I keep them or not. But I picked up some things for my very first week. I hate the way this glaze turned out. Look at how ugly this glaze is. But this is a berry bowl that um, collapsed. So it is not even centered. I do not like it at all. I don't even know if I'll keep it. I bet my mom will try to take it if I tell her I don't like it. Same glaze. So I hate the glaze. But a um, cute little thumbprint mug that maybe, I feel like this glaze is just very masculine, so maybe I'll give it to Jordy. But it was nice to get out of the house, but I'm absolutely wiped. <laughs> and mom wants to find some sort of fun food in Austin to order in because she's always excited to get out of Bernie and try new fun foods. I am her daughter. For sure, I am her daughter. It's where I get it from. So that's what's on tap. Dinner's here. Mom has wanted to try this because I always talk about Nixta. Oh, that doesn't even say Nixta on it. If you're gluten-free and in Austin, there's a couple more. Let's see. Let's see these. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, they're known for their duck carnitas. It's so good, but they're 100% gluten-free and just very interesting fusion tacos. And it's actually where Jory and I had our second date on my birthday, on my 25th birthday. Hi. Yeah, it's so good. Special. It's special. She was just saying that she loves that we both love to share and try everything. So we got four different things because two tacos is pretty much meal. So we could try four tacos. <laughs> Look at all that color too. It's they make all their own oh. corn in house, which is why they're called Nixta because like Nixtamalization. I said that so wrong. This is the process of like processing corn. So they have all the different color corns too. So Anyways, beautiful. this is, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> all right, good morning. It's appointment day. It's the day we get all this off. I'm excited. I just woke up. Mornings are the hardest. I wake up in a lot of pain every morning and then it like gets better throughout the day. But since they're going to be doing potentially a lot of painful things, I made the mistake of watching YouTube videos of them removing people's stints. And the stints are huge. They go like so far up. So, um, and the stitches, my stitches are still really tempted to touch. And so since all of that's probably pretty painful, my mom and Jordy all agreed that I should take one little pain pill this morning to prepare for that. So, and I want that to be my final pain pill. That's what I'm hoping. So I just took that. And a side note is I think I either have a cold or like an upper respiratory thing because every night, the last few nights, and it's only at night, 
And it's when I, I'm not laying down yet. It literally is as soon as it turns like 8 p.m. I'm still sitting in the den. It gets so hard to breathe out of my lungs. And then in the morning, I cough up so much gross stuff from my lungs. And I don't know if it's related or if I have a cold, which is just very odd. So I'm going to have to ask the doctor about that. But I'm currently waiting for these meds to kick in. Might be a little loopy today, but I think I would regret less taking it than I would not. Does that make sense? So I'm excited to go see how today goes. And we finally, five days later in this vlog, we finally get the nose reveal. It's very swollen the first month and it goes down bit by bit after that. So it's going to still look a lot more like round and puffy and swollen than it's going to look later. Um, but it's I'm excited. Like clearly you can already see from the tip. It's much more rounded. I think I'm going to be excited about it. I'm just gonna sit here and wait for these to kick in and drink some coffee and then we're gonna head to the doctor. I'm gonna give y'all more proper update when we're home, but like first impression is I love the bridge. The tip I think is really swollen and I don't love how the tip kind of like comes up, but I was telling mom that that wasn't in the cast. So I imagine the tip is currently more swollen than the bridge, but a little bummed. They said I need to tape even during the day for a month. I didn't do that last time. I think I taped during the day for a week and then would tape at night for like even longer than a month, but mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna kind of feel it out. And they said, if you have an event or whatever, you, you don't have to. So I'll feel out how we do, but at least it's skin color. And so it's a lot more subtle. This little, I taped it different too last time to where I didn't have this tail. Uh -huh. I think I did one like this ah. instead of one to cut. Oh, we should ask so you yeah, I'll that. look into that, yeah. but because this, this makes it a lot more obvious. <laughs> The stents was weird. That's weird. I'm so glad that those are out, but that me was too. a weird sensation. Okay, so they gave me permission to like wash my skin. So I took off most of the tape to like get all that adhesive off. They sent me like wipes to get the adhesive off before I retape it. But I wanted to show you it completely not taped. It's crazy. I can feel it just absolutely ballooning right now. Like it feels huge and swollen. So I know that it's not gonna look like this at all when um, the swelling goes down. But here is the current super duper 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 swollen nose from the front, from the top. My nostrils are so much more even. I thought that the stints were holding them wider than, but I guess I just have wide nostrils now, but they do also feel just like very swollen and taut. So we'll see how my nostril shape changes. I really love the bridge. And like I said, the tip, I feel like the tip is so much more swollen even than the bridge. So it feels very bulbous and almost looks like it goes up for the tip. Full 360 degree view. And I expected to see it and hate it because it's what most people do when they, when you take off the cast because it's yeah. so not what it's gonna end up being. But even now I don't hate it. Just going back and forth between doing computer work and talking with mom and I accidentally fell asleep. <laughs> I'm gonna need to go to bed early tonight. Several activities today, went out for a doctor's appointment, had a friend come here and um, I'm spent. Like just that alone, I'm like absolutely wiped. Thanks for coming along for the journey. This was a whole week vlog, which is just so much fun. And thanks again to AG1 for partnering with me on this video. I'm gonna have my link and all the good information in the description along with anything else. I don't know if y'all know this, but I spent like an hour on my description boxes with the timestamps and I try to link anything I can think of. Um, the last couple surgery vlogs, there hasn't been as much to link because I've been wearing like the same one cardigan for like five days straight. I haven't talked about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next vlog. Um, just, just a normal vlog. And then the one after that is actually going to be very fun because girls trip with Kaylee's that turns into family beach trip. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be fun. Okay. I love y'all. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. If we're looking for each other, then it might just take